<laughs> so now I get, do I have sleep in my eyes? No, just bags under them from being so exhausted all the time from my new puppy. Yeah, I got a new dog. She's not Sierra, she's Willow, Willow Leaf, or maybe Echo Willow Leaf. Sierra had a brother named Echo, and so I kind of wanted to name this puppy Echo, but she already had the name Willow Leaf, so it's like, do I give her three names, or do I just, I think what I'm going to do, oh, I'm crazy, yes. I think I'm going to just keep her name as Willow Leaf and get a second puppy. I know, right? Glutton for punishment. And the second one I will name Echo, after Sierra's brother. Um, oddly enough, now, the people I got Willow from said that she was born on July 10th, but I think they were confused. I think, because according to the paperwork, the actual AKC paperwork, she was born on the 19th of July. Sierra died on the 20th of July. Almost like Sierra hung on until this one was born, knowing that my new companion had entered the world and it was okay for her to go. Like, I, I had her put down. It wasn't, like, completely her determination, but that's when I knew it was time, when she was ready to go. I just knew my dog, and she was ready. Now, this one is a pain in the butt. I love her. She's a great puppy, but she's so high energy. It's the breed. German short hair pointers, they are notorious for being high energy dogs. I have so much stuff to do. I wanted to make this video out here at the lake with the windsurfers. I'll have to turn the camera around to show you those guys um, and the kite boarders and take Willow for a walk and introduce you guys to her in the walk. But then I realized that you probably don't want to listen to that the whole video. I'm just going to keep recording from inside. Um, no, she's an awesome puppy. She's about, I don't know, depending on whether she was born on July 10th or July 19th, she's at least 12, 13 weeks old, somewhere in that range. And, of course, none of my other animals like her. Even my big cat, Artie, who's always nice to everybody, he, like, went out of his way to chase her through the house and beat her up. Um, he's mostly mellow with her. My cat, Sammy, loves her already. Anna is coming around. Polly is, uh, um, they're all coming around. Kenya, the old dog, she doesn't want to play. And Willow wants to play all the time. All the time, huh, Willow? Um, I had to put this over my seat so she doesn't get hair all over it. I've ordered a special car seat thing for her, but it hasn't come in yet. Um... I got so much work to do. Not only do I now have to deal with a puppy and cleaning after a puppy and puppy proofing my house, which I've been doing for a week, and every time I think I'm done, she finds something new to get into, don't you? Every single time. It's like everything, every single thing in the world, every piece of matter eventually goes in there. Oh, Willow, it's all for you to bite on, huh? Um, no, that's what it seems like, though. Like, this breed, like, all puppies are a pain in the butt. But German Shorthair Pointers are notorious for being high-strung, very active, high-energy, curious, and, uh, stubborn. Very stubborn. Huh, Willow, are you stubborn? So I got her a campy collar. Let's see if I can show you guys. It's got, like, she don't like sitting still. Okay, well, well. Excuse me. It's got like little campfires and lanterns and mountains and campy, right? Literally. <laughs> um, I wonder if I can set this phone down for a minute without dropping it. Nope. Willow, come here. Put your collar back on. Hold on a second, guys. So I've got a ton of stuff to do. This is a very, very, very busy season for me. In addition to dealing with the puppy, I have to, um, look at all these guys out here. Sorry. There's just so many today for this late in the year. It's kind of nice seeing so many people out there having fun on the lake. We still have the blue green algae, which is really bad for dogs. So that's why I wasn't going to take her to the shore, even if 
even if uh, there wasn't wind, we were just going to walk around up here on the higher part of the lake. And I'm going to make a video soon about Arizona and how it killed Sierra, my last dog. Um, so stay tuned for that. I also may be doing a live stream really soon. I don't know. I am doing the boondocking bash party again. Dome Rock, Campground, Quartzsite, Arizona, November 30th through December 13th. And you're all invited. So I hope to see some of you there. There's some of you I'd really like to see there, but I don't know if you're all are coming or not. So, But you're invited. <laughs> um, I'm going to have fun either way. And I'm going to complain about things the whole time because that's what I'm best at. But I'll have fun. I am still mad about a lot of stuff. A lot of the places I wanted to go and things I wanted to do this winter are just not going to happen because of all this craziness in the world. They've shut down everything. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the rest of you to be ready to take it back because I'm ready. I've been ready, but I can't do it by myself. I need like, you give me 100 people, even 50, I'll reopen anything. 150 people or 100 people who are willing to go take over an area and reopen it and tell the government, make us leave. I don't know what it is. Sometimes I'll go all day without a single phone call. Then I want to make a video or start a job or do something important. And every fucking buddy in the world wants to call me. And none of them have anything important to say. It's just like they can sense, oh, Jimmy's got something better to do. Let's disrupt his train of thought. Because, of course, everything in this world is now designed to ruin my day and my life. Every single thing. Because, of course, it is. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, Willow. That's why I got my new puppy. Just in time for her to destroy my whole house. Huh? Yeah, she's going to destroy my whole house in like a matter of days. She's a good girl. I love her. She does destroy a lot of things, though. And I do feel like the world is just, just out to get me these days. Like, any plan I make, anything I want to do, the world just looks down and it's like, yeah, I think we're going to poop on this. Let's poop on Jimmy's plans. He deserves it. Couldn't happen to a better guy. Oh, Willow, you poop on a lot of things, too, don't you? And you chew everything with your sharp little teeth. I shouldn't let you do that because it hurts. Because you're so mean. She has toys. She has things to chew on besides me. These these dogs are so high strung that if I don't let her chew on myself, like she'll eventually just start chewing on herself. She just has to chew something all the time. It's just it's just you just have to, huh? With your sharp little razor sharp teeth. <laughs> You're so mean. Um, so yeah, it's probably good that I stopped the video when I did, because I was starting to go off on a rant. But really, you give me 50 people who are willing to say no, we're not leaving, and we'll go reopen anything. Anything public. Nobody will stop us, I guarantee you. We'll make a national news story out of it. And I'll bleed all over them from my hand because Willow chewed it up. You're so mean. Don't bite daddy. <laughs> Ow! God, you're mean. I didn't need a new ear piercing. I had my ears pierced when I was a kid. They're mostly closed now, but Willow's ready to change that. Gosh, you're so mean. Don't bite Daddy. No. You don't bite Daddy. Mean puppy. I think she needs to go home and take a nap, and I think I need to end this video. I'm going to do a live stream soon. I've got to get ready for the boondocking bash. I've got less than a month to get all my stuff ready and get there. i still got to seal the roof of my motor home. Mm -hmm. I've still got to put my solar panels on the roof. I've still got to break her of this chewing thing. And i got to hook up a tow kit on my car. That's the one that I'm a little bit nervous about. I've never towed before. I've been driving around in 19 or 20 foot RVs for years. I did have a 36 when I first started. After my Volkswagen, I went to a 36-foot Dodge Diplomat. Um, my new RV is 27, but when I start towing the car behind it, it's going to be probably like a 35-foot total length setup. I have to take a, the front plastic piece off the car. She just stepped on my things that I probably can't say on YouTube. 
damn that hurts. Um, I got to take the front plastic piece off my car, install the base kit into the bumper, and then install the tow bar into the tow hitch on the motorhome. That's easy, except that I have to have it at the right level, so I need to get like, I forget what they call it, a hitch drop, I guess. I don't know. I got a lot to do, but I'm looking forward to getting down there and seeing everybody again and taking Willow on her first trip, real trip. We could take a car camping trip. One of the reasons I bought this car is because I can camp in it. And now, even though I got a lot of work to do, I can technically leave and go somewhere. So maybe it's time. Maybe we'll go up river. Maybe we'll run up to Mammoth real quick. Go stay a night at Benton Hot Springs. It's not cheap. I hate to pay to go there by myself, but none of the people who I'd like to go with me are like willing, able, or ready. Um... So, just me and Willow. You want to go to Benton Hot Springs? It's a nice little campground where you get, like, your own hot spring and your private site. It's pretty sweet. It's usually booked up, but I have a feeling this time of year I could probably get a spot. And the German brown trout are starting to run up there. The season ends, like, really soon. If it hasn't ended already, I better look into that. Otherwise, I'll go to the coast. I want to go back to Venice, but that's not really the place to take Willow right now. She's still too young. And I can't really leave her in the car and ride around on the scooters, maybe at night, but I wouldn't trust it. Somebody would probably break a window and steal her. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll go to Morro Bay. Just hang out there. She'd like that. There's some good trails we can walk on. I don't know. I probably won't do anything. I'll probably just sit here and just blab and blab and blab at the camera until I run out of things to say and then end the video.